Hey there, Ron Eddings here from Axonius. I wanted to speak to you all a bit about a critical vulnerability associated with Log4j that was found on December 9th, 2021. Log4j is a open source Java library that is used by millions of devices and applications around the world. Log4j is often used to collect events and errors from applications and is known to be used by companies like Microsoft, Apple, and Twitter. It's also worth noting that the game Minecraft uses the library Log4j and affected versions can result in exploitation and the infection of ransomware. More specifically, Log4j versions 2.15 and earlier are vulnerable to remote code execution and assign the label CVE 2021-44228. Despite the decreasing popularity of Java as a programming language, many enterprises and cloud services still use Java and the Log4j library. The most immediate and effective path to mitigation is to upgrade Log4j to a newer version. The biggest challenge is knowing which assets are using the Log4j library and which applications are installed that may also be leveraging that vulnerable version. Axonius customers can use the platform to identify which devices have the Log4j affected version and perform automations to notify teams to remediate and mitigate the vulnerability. When logging into Exonius, we can navigate to the devices page and begin to do a search for any devices that have specific installed software on each device. In our case, we're looking for devices that have the installed software Log4j. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna search for any devices that contain the name Log4j in their software name. And we're also gonna search for any devices that have Log4j installed along with versions that are earlier than 2.15. We can also use other data collected by Exonius, such as information from vulnerability scanners or XDR agents and begin to search based off of CVE ID or other attributes associated with this vulnerability. In this case, we wanna search for any device that has the affected application or library installed and running on it, along with any devices that have the CVE ID associated with that device. So we can specify our operator equals to the CVE version that's affected and begin to search for any devices that contain the software or the CVE ID. After creating our query, we want to save it. And we're gonna save this query so we can use it in an automation to notify team members to mitigate this specific vulnerability. So let's give this query a name. We're gonna call it vulnerabilities with log4j. And for the description, we're gonna say CVE 2021-44228 and hit save. The next step is to automate this action. We don't want to manually search for devices over and over again. We want technology to take care of that for us and involve the correct team members if devices are seen that match this query. So what we can do is use the enforcement center and hit add enforcement to create an automated action based off of saved queries. For this, we want to notify team members. We wanna make sure that this vulnerability is remediated. We can select from a variety of actions, whether it's email, Slack, or another mechanism, or use our case management solutions to create incidents or tickets. In this situation, we're gonna create a ServiceNow incident. And we're gonna first give our enforcement a name. We're gonna say create ServiceNow incident for log4j vulnerability. And the second step that we have to do is also give our action a name. This is creating a ServiceNow incident. And if we've already configured ServiceNow within our environment, we can use the stored credentials within our environment and then provide a short description and incident description. The last step is to select the saved query that we use to find the log4j vulnerable devices. We can select devices here and then select our saved query. 
So we're going to say vulnerabilities with log4j. That's the saved query that we just created and enable this automation. We can set we can set more settings and conditions to behave differently based off of the amount of devices that are seen or run this saved search on a more frequent interval to identify those discovered devices. The last step is to hit save and ultimately run our enforcement on demand or on a scheduled cycle. If you're not an Exonius customer and you'd like to use the platform, start by visiting exonius.com and selecting start free trial. From there, you'll have 30 days to use the platform within your environment, setting up adapters and pulling in an inventory of your assets along with contacts. If you'd like, you can also book a demo to speak with someone from our team and learn more information about how you can get started. We hope that you use these techniques to find the vulnerable. We hope that you use these. We hope that you use these techniques to find the vulnerable software within your environment and stay safe.